We're going to talk about the development roadmap update and what's to come, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So a few days ago, Bungie came out with an update for their development roadmap for the next coming months. A few things were added and a few things were moved, so let's go over the changes. On the left hand side, I will show you guys what the roadmap initially was, and on the right hand side, I will show you guys what it changed to. If you guys would like to check out the changes yourself, then you can click on the annotation at the top right of the screen or in the link in the description below. With all that said, nothing in update 1.1.2 was changed at all due to it already being deployed. Now I bring this up because there are times where developers do patches or hotfixes to an update after it's released, but nothing so far was done. As for update 1.1.3, which comes actually tomorrow, February 27th, there are a few changes. Now a lot of the things do remain the same, but I will only go over the changes. So we get a little bit more in-depth view of the emblem rework and it was in a form of Destination, Crucible, and Nightfall emblem variants. However, it's not clear if the Aura factor will be incorporated in that too. The Exotic Repetition Reduction, Nightfall Strike Unique Rewards, and Companion Vendor Viewing have all been moved to next month's update, which is update 1.1.4. A new addition to update 1.1.3 is that Prestige Nightfall Challenge Cards V1, assuming that's version 1, has been moved from next month's update to this month's update. Speaking of update 1.1.4, which happens on March 27th, Rumble will be joining Mayhem in the weekly Crucible playlist. Everything remains the same except what I just mentioned about the switching of activities. As for Season 3, which kicks off update 1.2.0, once again, everything remains the same except that the exotic weapon armor sandbox changes moves to update 1.2.0 from the original update which was 1.1.4. And the mod system improvements isn't even listed anymore. Now all of the things that were switched had asterisks on them which means that they are still subject to change once again. So what does this mean when it comes to the update of the development roadmap? Well change is good, yes. but now we have to wait even longer for the things that we want to change. However, I do want to apologize though. I did make a mistake a few videos ago thinking that the exotic sandbox changes were going to happen tomorrow, the 27th of February, but they are not. It sucks that a lot of the things that the community wants now are being pushed back a month and possibly even two months or further down the road if it doesn't happen within the next update. I'm pretty sure that because of this, a lot of the players are like, the hell with this game, but I'm sure there are some, like myself, who are still keeping hope. One thing that is still kind of a mystery is when the Destiny 2 Expansion 2 will be released. Now if Bungie is following the same trend they did with the original Destiny, and so far they have, then the second Destiny Expansion, rumored to be named Gods of Mars, should be released sometime in May 2018, which is the same month when Season 3 and Update 1.2.0 is released. The original Destiny Expansion 2, House of Wolves, was released on May 19th, 2015, so this month only makes sense. But Bungie hasn't even mentioned the Destiny 2 Expansion 2 release at all, and it's actually a little frustrating for us gamers and us content creators not knowing what is going to happen. Personally, I like giving you guys the news more than reviews, that way everyone knows what is going on in the game. Yes, development updates give us a glimpse of what is to come, but we don't really know until everyone else knows. And that usually doesn't happen until patch notes or a hotfix are released, and sometimes not even then. When content creators like myself do reviews, a lot of people in the community assume that we have some power over the meta, and we really don't. I do reviews based on two things. First, people requesting them, or second, it's my personal experience with the weapon or the exotic. I feel like it's the fear of the unknown that is getting to people, as well as the lack of content that was promised before the release of Destiny 2. Both of these are why a lot of Guardians, including a lot of other huge Destiny content creators, have left to cover other games. I'm still here though, and I'm still here because I have a passion and determination for this game, and I always will. Bungie has brought something to the gaming industry that has never been seen or captivated on before. Because of this, I know that the franchise can grow into something phenomenal, regardless what people say or think. Anyways, 
What do you guys think of the development roadmap update? Do you like what is happening over the next few months? Are you mad that the features we needed and wanted are being pushed back? Or do you not even care because you're playing other games? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, then feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.